welcome to my channel. My name's Julie and I'm an adult doll collector. So hey guys, long time, no talk. I know I do not post content regularly at all. Um, very spotty and far and few between several months it's been. So miss you, so happy to be posting a video. I've gone through a lot of changes guys over the last year, lots and lots of changes with my collection. So I've sold a lot of my Reborns recently. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you may have seen uh, I've posted a couple dolls for sale. I've also sold some on Reborns, but um, I really wanted to skinny down my collection. And uh, the purpose is to just have a handful of dolls that I really, really love. And I really would like them to kind of resemble my kids. So um, I've had my eye out to buy just one Reborn. Uh, there are a couple I've kept in my collection that I feel fit the bill for what I'm looking for. I did buy this doll about a week ago and um, just arrived. So I'm super happy. I already opened the box because, uh, you know, I always do this with the camera in my hand. I don't use a tripod. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the doll out. This is a pretty new sculpt. I haven't seen a lot of this sculpt sold for sale yet. Uh, so it's pretty new. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull him on out. It is a boy. All right, now this doll, uh, I really liked this artist's work. I pretty much bought this doll on the spot. I do like larger dolls. Um, I like dolls in the three to six month size. To me, they're funner to dress. Uh, they're more expressive as well. Uh, sleepers and newborns, uh, they're just not as fun for me. Um, so this doll does wear a three to six month size. So cute. Look at this. Look at this adorable sleeper. This artist sent something small with him. It doesn't come with a huge box opening. Yeah, guys. So this is what we see the hands. So far, I really like the skin color. Not much lighter than mine, which is great. Anyway, okay, let's keep going, guys. I'm so excited about this doll. I tell you what, guys, it is so hard to wait for your dolls after you've decided to buy one. But I did buy this doll on the spot. Eek! So happy right now. Oh, my God. Oh, what a cutie. Oh, so cute. So, so cute. I don't even want to gently open this. I just want to tear it open like a present. Let's see if I can get it open with one hand. Hair is nice and protected in that bag. And look at this adorable sweetheart. Ah, he's so freaking cute. Okay, sorry. I don't know if freaking is a bad word or not, but so cute. Yeah, guys, so this is the Ron and Sculpt by Laura Tuzio Ross. Oh my God, isn't he super cute? The expression is almost like a smile, but a, I don't know. He's got really pretty blue eyes. My kids did not have blue eyes. Actually, my son did when he was born. Um, they did change over time from like hazel and then they ended up turning a brown shade, right? Uh, but it didn't affect how I felt about the doll. So what's really cool about the artist's work is she paints the eyelashes on. I thought that was really neat. I've never, um, I've never bought a doll with painted lashes and they look pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the little package she came with. Um, again, you know, this did come straight from the artist and, uh, sometimes artists don't do huge box openings, which is fine because you guys, I've done major paring down over this last year. I've had the donation truck come to my house, uh, eight times and I've donated so many things, including dolls. I just, I've just overwhelmed with so many things and, uh, I'm really trying to pare down my collection again. For dolls to resemble my kids and I have my kids clothes um, some things from when they were infants so I'm just wanting to use those things and uh, so I don't really want a large box opening because then I'm gonna be stuck with more stuff yes I might do an outfit change here and there very cute though very very cute um, he was photographed in this outfit in his pictures so that's a nice it's actually a four piece set. I'm gonna stick a pillow behind his head. I made the mistake guys with all of my donations. I donated my bobby pillow. Um, I'm gonna get a little bit more into that in a second. All right guys, so he's a little bit more cozy. I put a little pillow behind him. 
really adorable. I really, really like this guy. Isn't he cute? He's so stinking cute. Yeah, so when I downsized my collection, the first to go were a lot of boys. Um, in fact, I've sold all of my boys with the exception of my uh, real born Joseph three months. And um, I refuse to part with him because he really does resemble my son. And if you look at my posts on Instagram and stuff, I actually have him um, set up right now with my son's helmet on. Um, so I've been on the lookout for a while for um, a reborn with that was open-eyed um, that uh, resembled my son. And I saw him and I bought him on the spot. Uh, it happens sometimes and I usually don't regret those purchases because... I think uh, for other collectors out there, you kind of know when you know, right? So here is his certificate of authenticity. So again, he's the Ronin kit by Laura Tuzio Ross. And on the picture, it looks like that is the prototype by Jackie Donahue. And there are some other versions of how he's been done. He's number 125 of 600. Um, wow. Yeah. So the kit is new. It just came out in February of 2023. I did see the pre-orders. Um, I don't know. I think it was December, January. So very cute little guy. I know a lot of kits have come out, you guys, since I kind of left the reborn scene last year. And it was quite interesting when I kind of started to insert myself back in and looking at dolls. Cause honestly, I had to just remove myself because I was really trying not to buy. Um, I was trying to reduce clutter and I was, I, my doll closet in this room, um, if you look at prior videos, I had this room set up as my reborn doll room and I ended up moving all my dolls into my doll closet, but I packaged everything up and it was like literally stacked to the ceiling because I was kind of like thinking, I don't know what I want to do with my collection. So one of my best friends told me, she said, because I turned my my room here into kind of like a beauty room at one point. So I had like all my high-end purses displayed and I moved my vanity in here with my makeup. And, you know, it was such a girly fun room. So this room has definitely transitioned quite a bit. Um, and then since then, I've actually toned it down because I actually put most of my fashion items back in my closet. Um, I did leave my vanity in this room, but... Um, I inherited my grandma's uh, little teacups, so I used my shelf for that. But anyway, besides the point, I ended up turning my closet here. It's a nice walk-in closet, and I've um, shown little videos of that. Actually, on my channel I have, and um, also on Instagram. But yeah, so I ended up turning that into like my little reborn nursery, and I used all my kids' um, items, like so they're... Um, their bedding from when they were babies, my daughter's rocking horse, you know, the things that are in there were my kids with the exception of the silver cross, um, stroller. But yeah, I just wanted to really personalize it and get back to why I started collecting. Um, so yeah, guys, isn't he adorable? Let's go ahead and dress him down. Sorry. I'm doing like this whole story dump on you guys, but I'm excited for multiple reasons, obviously, because I have a new baby and um, I haven't talked to you guys in so long. I kept meaning to like get make a video and fill you guys in. Sorry, I had to stop it and dress him down. But yeah, I just wanted to make a video to kind of fill you guys in and it just never happened. So now I'm just like doing this information dump on you guys on like what I've been up to this last year. But yeah, so this is what his limbs look like. I really like this doll. I really like when dolls have a closed hand and an open hand. Uh, my Susu by Natalie Blick also has something similar. Actually, she's right there. I actually have my Susu sit outside. I love her so much. She's wearing my daughter's uh, little bear suit and holding her little rattle there, but she's also wearing her hair bow. But I love that doll so much, I wanna see her. So I put her in that pretty little bouncer there and it actually goes really pretty with this room. This room is very uh, feminine and I have my wedding dress there. And um, yeah, so I'll take you on another tour of this room at some point. But, but anyway, back to the doll guys. I know I'm doing a box opening. Uh, which is always my favorite videos to do because I'm always so happy and excited in these. He's weighted really nice. And um, gosh, I just love this size doll, guys. If 
I know people like um, newborns and sleepers out there. I can't do it. I need a doll that's a little bit older. Um, and, but I don't want a doll that's too old. Like I noticed I'm not a huge fan of the large toddler dolls. In fact, I have a cami that is so beautiful that she's my rocking horse doll that sits on my daughter's old rocking horse. I'm trying to get the courage up to sell her next because, um, I just prefer this size. This is like the sweet spot size for me is that three to six month size. So he's perfect, you guys. I love his painting details. Um, the artist, I really like her work. Like, I don't know how I haven't come across her work before, but she does a really nice job, and her dolls are not horribly expensive. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, they don't, they told, of course, it's a reborn, and, and yes, he costs a lot, right? But the price isn't scary to the point where I feel like, Oh my gosh, I shouldn't be spending this. <laughs> Which some of my dolls that I bought, I I have felt that guilt before because you know I'm raising kids. I mean I'm I'm married. I mean I'm not raising children alone, but we have a family. Look at how how pretty he is. Like he looks so realistic. I love him. So yeah, guys, sorry I haven't even told you who the artist is. She's phenomenal. I loved when I looked at her page. Um, I had seen her past work on Reborns because I did buy this doll on Reborns. And her name is Alicia Garner uh, with Alicia's Angels. Um, yeah, I fell in love with her work and I couldn't believe how I had never come across one of her dolls before because there were like so many that she'd done that I would have loved to have had. Look, I didn't even need to brush his hair. It was totally intact. That is such a nice um, way to have a doll come packaged with the hair like that. Yeah, it's super soft mohair. It looks like, it does appear that there's a couple of hairs in um, each hole. So what is that? Micro-rooted, but uh, it almost appears mono-rooted, honestly, in person. Um, but I could tell in the photos it wasn't mono-rooted, but um, again, beautiful work. He is gorgeous. What a sweetheart. All right, guys, so the weather is starting to turn beautiful. So I'm in California in the San Francisco Bay Area. Um, we have had the season run a little bit unusually cooler. The days are starting to warm up. In fact, I think it's gonna be about 76 today. Um, so, but the outfit I've picked out for him is gonna be unusually warm for this time of year. And there's some nostalgia behind it on why I chose it. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the outfit and uh, we'll talk about what I'm dressing him in. So what I've done guys is I, stopped buying just regular in style clothes for my dolls and in fact I stopped all purchases for my dolls um, except for a random thing here or there over the last year I would say um, but I wasn't doing any hauls or anything like that again because I was just full to the max on everything and um, it was just counterproductive on what I was trying to accomplish so I stopped the massive haul shopping for my dolls and uh, it was good because I was really just working on decluttering my home. My doll collection is massive, um, including all the things that go with it. My, my props, my clothing collection, everything. So I really had to prioritize what was important to me with my doll collection. And that's, again, why I pared down to just my absolute favorites. And again, they've got to just have some kind of resemblance to my children. So... So anyway, guys, with that said, um, the shopping I have done has been very minimal for my dolls. But what I did do was I was trying to find items that my kids wore. And I've said this before, uh, I used to dress my kids in Gymboree when they were babies. My kids were born in 2009, uh, Gymboree was very popular at the time. Um, they sold, uh, they sold clothes for babies uh, from preemie to all ages. Um, they had since filed bankruptcy several years ago, and then I think Children's Place bought them. So their sizes are more limited now. Collections are still beautiful, um, but it's not like what it used to be with their size ranges. Uh, and I've always loved this brand. I mean, since the 90s, like I remember being a teenager and babies were born, the most fashionable babies were the Gymboree stuff, you know? So anyway, so I really enjoy dressing my kids in Gymboree. Um, this is actually from a collection from when my son was around, I think four-ish. 
Um, it was, let's see the year. It says actually the year on here. So this was a Gymboree line in 2013. It was a fall line. So I was gonna say my son was like three or four-ish because I remember him wearing it to preschool. So he wasn't a baby when he wore this collection. But he did own this shirt and he owned it probably in a size 4T or something like that. That was what he wore at that age, whatever his size was, four or five probably. Uh, but anyway, so the point is, is that is what I do now. I really try to find items from the Gymboree collections um, from what my kids wore. And uh, so I had bought this several months back. Again, it is part of a fall line. I mean, as you can see, it's a lion with a football on the colors, right? These are fall colors. Definitely out of season for May or transitioning to beautiful weather. I don't care. I want to dress this little guy. This is a three to six month size. I want to dress him in this because of the nostalgic factor. So what I did was I bought that. And to complete this outfit, because while he was on his way, I really wanted to dress the doll the way I used to dress my son when he wore this outfit. So what I did used to pair this outfit with was uh, like some baby Timb Timberlands. These are not the real Timberlands. These are um, like a little knockoff and I got these on Amazon. I think these are size five. So they're gonna be a little bit big for him, but that's fine. It'll actually just make him look bigger, which is kind of cool. Uh, <laughs> this sweater is a three to six months, but he actually looks like he might do well in a zero to three size. The adorable outfit he was sent in, the Burt's Bees outfit, was a three to six months with the bees on it. So cute. And then um, the other outfit was three to six months. So he does wear three to six months well. But I look, but based on like his size, he's 23 inches. He looks like he could wear zero to three as well. It might be a little bit tighter, but he can definitely wear it. So this is what I'm going to put on him, guys. I can finally take this tag off uh, and uh, pair it with the baby knockoff Timberlands. And I wasn't sure what pants I wanted to put on because like I'm really feeling the weather change. And I wasn't sure what to do about the pants because I've already got this like heavy sweater. Um, but I think I'm gonna pair it with shorts. And that's just to kind of offset the weather change I'm feeling here. But I'm gonna just get him dressed and then I'll finish showing him to you. Okay guys, there he is. He's all dressed up. Oh, he's so cute. Look at him. He is adorable in his little baby Timbos. Oh my gosh, he is cute. Ah, in love, in love. He's like my little baby Bubba. That's what we call my son. <laughs> that's his nickname was Baby Bubba. So, hey, maybe that's what, uh, I think that's what I'm calling him. I'm just gonna call him Baby Bubba. I'm excited, you guys. I got another baby that looks like one of my kids. So stinking cute. Hey, I gotta, I gotta show you this about this kit, guys. It's kind of interesting. So if you guys have seen on my Instagram, I had posted a picture of my Joseph three months of sleep in a uh, in a helmet. And that's from when my son was a baby. He had a condition called torticollis. And it caused him to have a kind of flat back head. Now, what I find interesting is the way this sculpt is made, this baby's head is kind of flat in the back. Isn't that funny? Um, I still got to comb his hair down a little bit, but I, I just kind of hand patted it and it fell right into place. Pretty nice. Um, real happy with him, guys. Happy with the work. Happy with the sculpt. Happy with the size. It's like such a win. Such a win. I'm so happy. It's been so long. I'm like shaking. You see, you see the camera shaking? <laughs> I'm so happy. It's been so long since I bought a Reborn and I love him. Look at him. What a precious baby. You are cute. You are cute. <laughs> hey, if that was a real baby, I would really talk to the baby like that. So, hey, um, he looks real. So I'm going to talk to him like that. And he reminds me of my son, baby Bubba. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that unboxing. And uh, I haven't seen any Ronins out there lately. So I look forward to seeing more of this kit start to come out and seeing uh, folks buy him. Totally recommend this kit. Beautiful size, wonderful. That three to six month size, my favorite sweet spot. Um, also can wear zero to three. A lot of the dolls that are in the three to six month range, depending on how they're stuffed, can wear zero to three anyway. Um, but yeah, I love him. He's perfect. He's weighted perfect. He's painted perfect. So happy. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk with you later. Take care.